today we are shooting outside because I got a drone. Anyways, that's not the major reason, but who cares? So actually, um, I got a Mavic Air. That is the original Mavic Air in 2023. I know you are wondering why, but um, I will tell you the reason for that in later video where I will also be doing kind of an official unboxing. It came with plenty of stuff. You can hear all the accessories that it came with here. I bought it used. So there are plenty of stuff that it came with, but um, we're going to be talking about that one later. Um, for, for this particular video, I just want to do a quick setup of this particular baby and then uh, do the first test flight. Okay, so are you ready for it? Let me bring out my phone because we need my phone to actually get this done. A quick disclaimer, this is not my first drone that I'm owning. Some years ago, I bought uh, the Mini 2, which I later sold. So, and now I have a project that I'm, I'll be doing that uh, requires a drone. Instead of me renting a drone and a pilot, I just decided to grab this. So for this, you first of all have to, the back first, all right? So let's fold out the behind legs first, then the front, push it forward, push it forward. And of course, remove the Remove the gimbal lock, all right, the cover. Remove the cover. Once you've done that, I already have my battery in, uh, here. Um, this came, came with a uh, eight gig space, you know, memory. So even if you don't have a memory card, though I already have a memory card, which I intend to use for it. But um, for today, we just don't want to do the quick setup and then um, it, uh, the test uh, flight. Okay, then this is the, the remote, that is the controller. Okay, so I already have this antenna up. You bring this one up, bring this one up. Then I'll have to. Um, there are three cables that came with it. Um, this particular one, I, I grabbed it at really, really good price. More details on that later, like I said. As you can see, this is the old controller, right? I think it fits well like this. I don't have any issue with it. So, um, I already have it here and I've also already also downloaded the DJI Go 4. So um, you just go to DJI website and download it or Play Store. I'm not sure it's on Play Store, but I downloaded the APK file from the DJI website. So um, once uh, you've downloaded the, the app, turn on the drone. You turn the drone on by tapping once short and then tapping again. Okay. Um, I have that, and then I turn this one to on. Sorry for the noise in the background. My neighbors are playing music, and uh, I really have to get this done now. Now, there's a green light there, so that means it's already connected to the aircraft, OK? So now it's telling me inconsistent firmware found. Now I have to do the update. So you can see we are already doing the whole entire setup. So I have to slide to start the update. Okay. I didn't know you went through. So I'll do that. Then download error, check network. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I didn't have a, my data turned on. So yeah, I have to turn on my data to be able to do the download, of course. Connecting to your Wi-Fi to download is recommended. Next. So now it's, it's showing me that the download has been interrupted. I should contact DJ support if persist after restarting. I have to try this again. Uh, let me do this again. Come on. What's happening? Okay. And here it is writing updating 75. One other thing that you see, guys, I forgot. Always bring out this leg because if you don't do that, the gimbal is going to be hitting on the floor while it's trying to adjust itself. So always remember to bring out the leg. I actually have seen so many persons complaining of that, so I'm not the first. So you can see the update is now on a 95, 99%. Yeah, we are ready. Successful update. 
can see that. I don't know if you can see that, but um, yeah, we ready. Precisely save database update. New slide that I found. Precise save data. Another thing that it needs us to update. New firmware. Click update. Update now. Next. So now we are updating the remote controller. Um. Yeah. I think we are good to go to the next step. So, um, once we we have this, this is the way that um, the DJI 4 Go app is now. So just click on Go Fly, and then um, this is where it is going to come up. So let's see some quick uh, status, overall status, latest firmware, uh, flight mode, OTI, compass, normal. To just show me, give me some aircraft status, right? So when I click off from that, um, this is um, the vision that we have now. I'm going to bring this thing closer so that. Okay, that's the vision that we have now. You can see that it says ready to go here on the upper left corner. My battery is 57% now. Um, I can't find the aircraft has been on for a while actually so and i'm seeing between eight nine ten satellites i think uh, that should be enough um let's just see some quick things to it, it is in photo mode now i'm going to switch to video um let me click on this this is where i set up my camera this particular one that is like equalizer sign if i go to manual now and push to 100 and there this is a the exact time when you need an nd filter right so but we'll talk about that one later let me just put it on auto for now um so and the package actually came with some nd filters that's the great thing about that so yeah let me just do some other quick um setup of this just some quick setup to help before we can now uh, start flying so return to home um i don't know how many feet the readings here are so i would have to check that when i when i go up then i'll come back and set the return to home the enable intelligence flight modes i want to enable that so beginner mode no i'm not a beginner this speech bring it down to five and see what will happen okay enable forward and backward obstacle sensing yes i want that enabled i enable horizontal obstacle avoidance in tap fly yes please if you find obstacle fly around it oh. Enable backward flying in active track. Yes. I want that enabled. Enable obstacle avoidance in active track. When activated, the aircraft will avoid obstacles horizontally. Otherwise, it will slow to a stop. Uh, okay. Enable that. Display radar charts. That is advanced setting, landing protection, all those things are enabled by default. Um, come back to this aircraft here. Um, okay. So this particular one here, EXP, this EXP is like the sensitivity of, of uh, this. So I'm going to bring everything down to... to 10. Okay, this one two. Ten. This one. No. This one here is zero point and zero. What this does is like when I'm moving this particular joystick, the sensitivity of the joystick to uh, my movement. That's what this particular ESP means. So I want it to be very very low. 
So I want to click these three dots. Um, this one is for units. If I want to change that, no, I think it's okay. Choose last stream platform. I don't want to last stream. Catch local when recording. No, I don't want the data recorded my, on my phone. I uh, record audio with video catch adaptively. Working license, device name, full screen mode. What's that? Double finger, one finger. I just leave that there for now. These are other things that I want to set up to. Um, first off, I would like to shoot manual. On under manual here, ISO 100. Um, shutter speed is one over. So you see, so it's exposed to 2.7, or like over exposed to 2.7. So I'm going to put um, the ND filter. I just installed the ND filter mm -hmm. now. From what you can see, you already see that um, we've already got perfect exposure now. Uh, so, to, so let me see, I'm supposed to turn on the histogram. Um, you, you click on this camera icon here, then click on uh, this uh, ranch sign, and then you will find histogram. And uh, let me also turn on the exposure warning so that that particular zebra warning, so when I'm overexposed, you can let me know. Then also turn on the grid, grid lines on. Um, and then that's about that. Switch to video. Um, okay, video setup now. Let's shoot it 4K. Uh, 4K 30. If not, why not? So shoot 4K 30 frames. Uh, of course, video format is MP4, white balance is auto wire balance. I don't want that. It's a bit cloudy, so let's use. Um, oh, let me just uh, do custom white balance and then do 56. Let me do 5600. Okay, daylight. My balancing uh, style. Um, I want to use custom so that I, ca I can turn down some things. Um, I want to bring this contrast down to minus three. Um, I will leave saturation where it is. Okay. So of course, color is Disney like so that I will be able to do some upgrade later on. I will be doing a test between Disney like and normal mode. So and that's just. Um, about it for now so yeah we, like i said our um, um camera settings is iso 100 1 over 50 because we are shooting okay 1 over 60 we are shooting 30 frames per second uh, so it should be 1 over 60. um then um what other thing so yeah you can see we have a perfect exposure now so we've already gotten it to that particular zero zero level and that's with the benefit of um the nd filter why i used nd8 is that um nd8 is for three stops of light so i approximated 2.7 to three stops of light and that's how i came about the um using the particular nd8 instead of nd4 so yeah let's go out there where there's enough space and then take this particular stuff up and see what we can get with it my battery is 45 percent now i just hope that okay let me click on that battery Click a uh, battery warning. Let me bring it down to 20%. Um, yeah. So, and that's about that. Let's go and fly.